Hi everybody, I just got done making this uh, antique looking door for my living room. Kind of some nice green, red paint. I wanted it to look like it fell off of a door somewhere in an old Italian house and I just grabbed it and hung it on my wall. So I made this whole thing from scratch. I'm going to make a second one to match it and show you how I did it. Yeah, as you can see, it looks like there's a lot to it. But really all this is are some 1x3s that I got at Home Depot, 1x3s, some molding that's inside, this panel back here, there's two panels here, here's the 1x3 and these back here, there's two of them next to each other, are two 1x10s. Perfect. I have all the little sideboards measured, cut out, and in place, and now I'm just going to take my drill and the drill on. them in. This is just a little molding you buy it at a Home Depot. Pretty cheap. Get it lined up right there. Get it to where I want it. Mark. And then cut it at a 45 degree angle, the opposite of this. Okay, after a little tiny fine shave, because it was a hair too long, that's perfect. So I'm going to do this to every space in here. There. And then get There's that molding in the corners. Makes it look a little more finished. And now what I'm going to do is just tap one finishing nail into each molding and pound it underneath the surface of the wood so that I can cover it with putty so that it'll be pretty much invisible. Take a little bit of Elmer's wood filler here. Works good. It's real thick, hard to squeeze out. I'm just kind of rubbing it in. and then sand it down a little bit. Makes it look pretty much invisible. While that putty's drying, I'm just gonna soften up the edges with the plane here. Push it along and give it a nice aged, rounded look because if this was really old, it wouldn't be so pointy. It would have got dinged and dented and wore off. This gives it a really nice mold appearance inside here. pointed sander on it and I'm going to find some knots here and just drill them out. Make them look better. Make it look older. wood off so it looks like it just really has seen some wear and get really old. Just lightly sanding everything. All the little cutting that I did, everything that I banged up. This is a really easy but really important part to make this look old. This is just going along the grain of the wood with a with a Dremel bit and scoring right along wherever you see the line of the grain of the wood. So watch. Yeah. 
little ones. There's some big ones here that you can see real good. Okay, I've grambled the whole thing and you can see a big difference. This is really easy to dremel and it just makes a huge impact on the wood. It gets very three-dimensional looking really neat. And then I sand it of course. Make it a little softer. But kind of the overall look you're getting is just a little more right, antique I like a lot of looking. color. This is Cherry Cobbler from Bear Paint. And I'm just ramming it into all the little dings and gouges and everything because this is going to be the base color. So wow. stabbing it in, getting it under there. My daughter would be helping me. Do you paint me good with Yep. Yep, look at that technique. Ooh. But for this one, you take, I use the same brush, but it doesn't matter if it's as soft this time. You get paint on there. And you're going to just kind of do a paint job and just not really finish it. Just kind of a really bad paint job. That's pretty much what we're doing here. done all the paint and it's dried and I've lightly just very lightly softly sanded over the entire surface with just a piece of sandpaper in my hand just real lightly and I've dusted it all off with a brush and now I have some English chestnut wood stain here okay, so This goes in everywhere. Just cover the whole surface with it. About, about that much. Then get your rag or sponge, rub it in and kind of wipe it off at the same time. It gets in all these little crevices in here. Makes it look really nice. 